What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Therapy Range. I'm Paul Riley, and I got the Tauros Capella 12 gauge shotgun back out here, the TR12. Now, we put a video out last week, and uh, a bunch of you seen, anybody that watched it saw that we had some hiccups with, uh, with the weapon. Well, after the video was over with, I took it in and, and realized that the upper receiver and the lower receiver were starting to come apart. And I couldn't figure out what I had to do to fix that. So I ended up taking it back to the gun store where I got it from. And uh, me and the gun store owner, we sat around for a little while and realized that this rubber butt plate had to get popped off. There's a channel tube that goes down through here and there's a bolt just like any other shotgun that holds the stock onto the rest of the gun. We tightened that bolt down and I think, I think everything is good to go. So I got 20 rounds of 12 gauge shells were loaded up. We're gonna see if we can get through all 20 of those rounds without there being any hiccups or ammunition issues, double feeds, malfunctions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Here we go, here you go. Listen, listen to the sound of beauty. Oh, oh, oh yeah, man. Damn safety. Safety first, kids. All right. First five down. That was all pretty good. No problems. There you go. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Empty. All right, there's 10. Well, I'm running out of targets real quick. Oh yeah. God damn safety. <laughs> All right. Last five. So far so good. <laughs> let's uh let's get some All right, well, see that little bit of wobble right there? That bolt's starting to work its way loose again. Yep, I'm going to have to tighten that back down again. Let's see if we can get through these five rounds with no problems. So it's looking to me like the Taros Capella TR-12 is going to end up being a keeper. Uh, so far... I really enjoy this gun. It seems to be working okay. Uh, that bolt in the back is gonna have to get some Loctite put on it to keep it good and tight. Um, but overall, I'm liking it. I added a TLR1 on here. So now I've got me the nice uh, home defense shotgun set up. Uh, oh, yeah, the 10 round Pro Mag, no good. Uh, Pro Mags, I've never been a fan of Pro Mags to begin with. But the Pro Mag that I had for this, the 10-rounder, the spring was losing tension on it and was causing the gun to double feed when you would rack it. So the 10-round mag uh, from Pro Mag is out of the equation. That doesn't work anymore. But the factory mags that come with this seem to work just fine. And another perk for this gun is uh, the magazines that come with any of the new Rock Island Arms 12 gauges. Those magazines were all interchanged with this as well. Two of the four mags that I just shot came out of the uh, Rock Island Arms Generations, uh, what is it, the R40, VR40, that you guys have seen on a bunch of the other videos. So, all right, I guess that's what I've got for you guys today. I've got a surprise coming up. We're supposed to have some more warm weather. I bought something neat over the weekend at the, at the gun show, and I'm hoping to be able to have this out uh, maybe tomorrow. We're supposed to have some more nice weather, another nice day. We're going to get that out tomorrow, 
and we're going to have some fun. So hit that like, hit that subscribe, make sure to share the hell out of this. YouTube hates gun tubers. YouTube doesn't like guns. They don't want to promote my videos. So I need you guys to do a help me out with it. Other than that, man, live your life to the fullest because anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you. There's a pile of affiliate links in the description below. Until next time, stay free, America.